Hey folks, how you doing? Just a couple new things. First of all, big thank you to Jay Knapp. Uh, Jake actually sent me a package even before I made the video. Which is pretty cool. And uh, brother, you didn't have to. I got the Benchmade beanie from him, which is really awesome. I, I don't have a Benchmade beanie. I don't have any kind of knife beanie and I love it. It's great. Got me a turkey jerky. I love beef jerky, so I never had the turkey jerky, so really looking forward to trying that one. I love, love beef jerky, really, really love. And he also threw in uh, this little cool Dajo knife. I've seen Dajo knives, they have the, they are kind of like, you know, famous for their survival knife. That is pretty sweet package for a good price. It's not a high-end knife. And this is their folder version. Again, they try to, you know, do some cool stuff. I don't know how expensive this is, but you know, some in interesting cutouts in the blade, carbon fiber handle, and uh, this is actually uh, what is it called? Tweezers, you know, little tweezers for you know, splinter and stuff like that. So, nice little package. Jake, really appreciate it, man. I hope your you know, giveaway goes well and everything. And uh, the songs, I can't wait. To see what's your next use you, you keep saying about something big's gonna happen and I just I can't wait <laughs> come on move already <laughs> just kidding uh, got myself new watches found pretty cool watches on a, for a very cheap price like $30 Casio and these are solar rechargeable so that, that's what I like that's what my uh, pathfinders have and I love that feature they're just simple watches very thin very super lightweight I figure for that uh, cheap money I really want wanted them. They look pretty cool, analog, with the basic basic digital features. But uh, I like how they look, so figured might as well do it myself. Another thing, one the, what I was planning to get for a long time, and I finally since I got the car, half of it goes to the car and half of goes to my fire kits. You know, to the uh, bug out bags and stuff. I always keep saying like besides the lighter and the basic stuff, ferro rods. I think one thing, these are not the marine grade, but I want to get the marine grade too. Good, you know, flare. If the stuff goes really bad, you will not be able to start the fire with the with the lighter. You will not be able to start the fire with the, with the ferro rod, with anything. If the stuff goes really bad, you know, you fall into the freezing river or something, you have a couple minutes and then you're dead. And uh, this is one thing that can save you. You know, this is a regular one, so I have to put it to some kind of bag, waterproof it. And stick it in my backpack but if stuff goes really wrong this is one thing that will guarantee you fire you know these are what i think 15 minutes 20 minutes flare so if you light this guy up that's gonna definitely give you enough flame to get the fire going even in extreme conditions so i recommend if, if you guys are into building these kids and stuff like that recommend to look look online for uh, some good I would recommend marine grades. I, uh, I still didn't get marine grade for myself, you know, waterproof and stuff, but definitely plan to. And one thing, what I did today, again, I'm too tired to work on the big stuff, so I played with the small stuff. That second little Kiridashi blade, I did the, I did the G10 handle on it. I felt like it. I had the spare uh, G10 of this uh, Camo G10. I had the spare one single slap. I polished it really nice, this one. Uh, I never polished my G10, but I polished this one because it looked cool. And I did the jimping here. And the same kind of deal, like this one, you know, weird angle, but that's how the steel was. It's for, it's more for like a carving and scraping and stuff like that. Uh, brass pins, linear hole, and uh, what else I was gonna say? Jimping is pretty cool. It's kind of like a, like a Enzo style pattern jimping. It's kind of conic shape and it goes, you know, if you look from the side, it goes smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, you know. They go like, like zigzag, kind of like an Enzo pattern on the handles. That pattern is on the jimping, both bottom and the top. And, uh, oh, and the, 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 the shape, the pattern on the handle, I actually did kind of like a corkscrew. You've seen Tough Thumbs da did the, the backspacer corkscrew. I did this whole handle, it pretty much starts here. And it just keeps going, keeps going. You see my finger, how it keeps going? Or like a drill bit. Keeps going all the way to the to this end now. I th thought that it would be interesting. I didn't know how it would show up. You probably wouldn't even know if I didn't tell you. 
but uh, well, you know you have nice little grooves they fit in the hand it's small little blade I figure I'll do something I just had a little fun with it uh, I'll probably be doing uh, sheets tomorrow I started today doing the sheets for those little blades I'll probably put up the video for sale on the over the weekend I have to finish some stuff to ship Saturday well no most of it everything is finished I just have to pack it and send it away Saturday the week and week will has been crazy a job too much work and uh, I'm running the company for a week boss on the vacation so I don't know where to jump first alright guys thank you for watching take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself